Welcome, everyone. What is up, everybody? Welcome in to the, the live stream. Mystery Bag Monday is going to be a good Mystery Bag Monday. I've got three of the large, super large bags right here. Three of those and two of the smaller bags. So uh, plenty of rag bags to get into. Um, we are very excited on... Wednesday, we head off to Disney, so there will not be a Mystery Bag Monday live stream um, the following Monday. Obviously, that will be like a couple days after Christmas. Um, there, there may not be one right after the New Year's. We'll have to see um, just what the schedule ends up being like, so uh, just a heads up for that. Um, otherwise, we're very excited. We're having a great Christmas season. Thrifting has been a lot of fun. Sales have been really strong. Um, we haven't been able to get to as many videos as we normally would like to just with the schedule and we've been renovating our home and we just moved in today. Uh, so, uh, we moved back in today. So that's all been a blur, uh, but we're excited. If you've never been and never watched one of these mystery bag of Monday videos, the way it goes is I buy these rag bags like this one right here, um, from local thrift stores that sell rags, like sell extra t-shirts. Um, typically to like mechanic shops and uh, wood uh, flooring companies uh, to use to clean up messes and stuff like that. Uh, but I go ahead and buy them instead. Um, a lot of these t-shirts are t-shirts they didn't feel like putting on the floor or they had some like explicit message on it so they didn't want to put it out on the floor. They didn't think it would sell, whatever. Uh, lots of different reasons why t-shirts end up in these bags. But we've been doing this for over a year now, and we've actually made quite a bit of a profit. I buy these bags for like 6 to $10 a piece. Um, so very, very excited to get in and dig into these particular bags uh, because you know, like these three big bags have been sitting and just like staring me down all week long as I picked them up earlier in the week. So let's go ahead and get into it because we have a lot of uh, T-shirts to dig in, uh, scour through. So... Uh, if you are watching, let me know uh, if you can hear me. Let me know where you're, where you are watching from. We'd love to hear what's going on in your neck of the woods. Uh, also, you're feel free to ask questions in the chat about vintage clothing. If you have a particular vintage question, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you found this week. Uh, what's up, man? Thank you. Thank you. It is mad cold suddenly and finally. Uh, so I have my little space here running. If it's too loud, let me know. Uh, you may not be able to hear much of it at all, but uh, got to keep me warm somehow. All right. So I want to hear from you guys. How's your uh, the last minute shopping going? Are you out there in the thrift still? Uh, some of my thrift stores, actually some of the smaller ones, um, like local, uh, country thrift stores have already closed sort of for like the holidays, which is kind of annoying, but we weren't planning a whole lot of thrifting anyway. Um, just cause we knew how busy we were going to end up being. So, oh, we got like a whole set of crate and barrel, like, uh, napkins. This is, look at this all. Oh, that's pretty unusual. Pretty unusual. Well, I'll hold on. They're nice. They look good. Uh, let's see. Nope, that's nothing. Uh, I have probably the largest collection of local high school band tees on the planet. <laughs> Just from all of this. If you're watching, let me know in the chat. Say hi. We'd love to know who's who's in who's out there today. Who's watching? This is a, the biggest mystery bag Monday we have had all year and maybe of all time. The one time we bought this many bags, I actually spread it out over a whole entire week um, and just did like a video a day, but that was before we were live streaming. Since we're live streaming now, it's pretty fun just to open these up with you guys as we go for however long it does take. Whew. Hey, 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 Sabina, what is going on? Looks like we got maybe a... Wait. Looks kind of feels like a vintage. It's not a vintage tee. It's like a button up like jersey. It says Euro. Definitely feels vintage. 
It's got a little bit of tattering like it's vintage. Uh, it's not a particular brand, but we'll see. We'll hold on to this just in case. Oh, dude, the Aztec Carhartts are sick. The ones with like the in or the, it's an exterior Aztec print or is it interior? Uh, sometimes you can get the ones with interior like uh, lining. Yeah, the thrift, the like holiday, holiday thrifting can be hit or miss because uh, sometimes they're open and they're like you know last minute like discount shopping for people. So they're like running sales and stuff, but some people just close for like, like some of my thrift stores around here will close for like two weeks until the new year. Um, so we just don't really ever plan like on heavy thrifting, um, but headed to Florida on Wednesday, we'll be driving through some of the Southern Gulf States. So if you're from that area, let me know. Um, I'll be hitting up some thrifts along the way. Uh, no promises as to where we actually end up thrifting, but we do hit up a few places. Normally, like, um, I think we hit up Tupelo. There's another spot we, we, we often go to that I can't recall the name of. But we'll be in those towns thrifting on Wednesday. Uh, so hopefully we'll uh, have some open thrift stores and try to pick up a few things while we are traveling. Exterior stripe, yeah, dude. That those those uh, Carhartt those Carhartt jackets, first of all, are pretty valuable. Second of all, are super dope looking. So, great, great find, man. Oh, uh, we got a Anvil Red Bar. This is probably late '90s, but it doesn't look like it's anything interesting. This is almost through our first bag. We actually have. Legit rags in this one. It's not always the case. Oh, yeah. Oh, will you meet me with a bus? I thought you guys sold the bus. You got a new bus? Yeah, we don't. Well, we did come out that way for Thanksgiving to see Katie's family. And I wish, uh, I wish we Wish, wish we could have spent more time in the area, but it was such a... Got it today. Ooh, I got to see some pictures. You got to throw that up on, on Mom Van? Because I'll, I'll, I'll come over there and check that out. You you know as well as I do how much... How how big into, like, bus RV traveling I was. I was so. All right, we're going to go ahead and open up one of the big... Uh, these, these bags, the big black bags, and I already see something right off the top, right here. There's Notre Dame. Tag is cut out, but it's clearly, it is single stitch. We got our first vintage t-shirt, Notre Dame t-shirt, pretty well worn. It's got lots of fading on it, but it is a vintage Notre Dame t-shirt. So we're on the board for something. Ooh. Oh, wait. No, never mind. Not vintage but that's a good sign good sign always when you see one vintage tea it's typically indicative of a you know a couple more lying around as man there are so many t-shirts in here oh my lord jesus there are so many t-shirts in this bag this bag was massively heavy you guys know this color is not typically vintage oh sick like one oh that's so far dude paul ralph lauren has some like the dopest like random random vintage gear like all right so that's the second notre dame t-shirt so i think we're gonna see a a trend of notre dame tees um that was a, a newer one like 2009 but i wouldn't be surprised if we find some other vintage ones here we go we got a vintage c yep here we go another vintage c uh csa tag division of nutmeg mills vintage notre dame tee Nothing wild, but definitely uh, cool to pick up some more vintage here. What we got this? What is this? Southwest Tennessee Community College. What's up? I, I wonder if this is vintage. No, it's I don't. Well, maybe not. I don't think it is. All right. Back to pulling these guys out. Oh, we got a POW. What? On the Russell Athletic, two thousand and four. Auburn, 
versus Tennessee. Uh, so it's a particular game when Auburn beat up on Tennessee. You know, it's super dirty. I don't know if that's worth. So we have a football or a college football fan in here. Brothers, CBSH, CB, I don't know. So there's some old feeling t-shirts in here. We got a 2000, a teacher from 2000. Christian Brothers, Team 2000, Purple Wave. That's probably a high school tee from Memphis, looks like. I don't know, who knows? Let's see what else we got. Hit that like, y'all. You're right. Oh, we got the dreaded color, which almost is never vintage. Pretty much a guarantee that it's not going to be vintage if it's that color. More and more Notre Dame on the Jan Sport. Look at that. We could outfit a whole entire team right here. Main USA Jan Sport. Nothing crazy on this team, but it's still vintage and it's still Notre Dame. All right, let's keep digging. Keep digging. I'm really hoping for something crazy. Um, I'm hoping for something wild. You guys remember? Was it last? Was it last week or two weeks ago? Where we we dug out all of those, uh, just like vintage tea after vintage tea from like ten, uh, tennis, uh, tennis tees like Wimbledon and and Nike Challenge Core and Andre Agassi and um, it's all kinds of stuff. So. It'd be nice to find something like that. And those came out of one of these bigger black bags. So I'm really excited. Maybe we'll find a little bit more of that. A little bit more would be nice. All right. Come on. So just reminder, if you guys have never seen one of these videos, these rag bags, wait. Well, that's weird. These videos, come, uh, excuse me, these bags come from local thrift stores. Look at that, Tommy Basic. And uh, they they typically just fill them up with uh, just extra T-shirts. There's a dreaded color. Um, extra T-shirts. And I go and buy them because oftentimes they drop vintage tees in like this, you know, sort of basic vintage Reebok tee, which I don't think we're going to hold on to. Um uh, we typically, it's hit or miss, obviously, because you never know. But because I don't have a, like, Goodwill bins nearby, this is uh, definitely a, uh, a way that I get my sort of random uh, clothes fix. Yes, uh, CSA is a division of Nutmeg Mills. I don't necessarily know um, when they were, when the, if they were always, because I do recall like a bunch of s a csa like hockey stuff that i feel like wasn't part of nutmeg mills but yeah as far as i know csa it's what it says on the tag at least uh csa was and is maybe continues to be a division of nutmeg mills um they've probably been bought by you know vf imageware at this point but um just like every vintage brand but um yeah you never really know Oh, come on. We're not even like halfway through this one bat. All right, we got a fruit of the limb tag, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is actually kind of cool. Check it out, guys. Get smart. It's like computer, uh, you know, stock trading from like the early 90s. And it's from Money Magazine. Single stitch on the fruit of the loom tag. Uh, the Like the early 90s fruit of the loom tag. It's actually really kind of a cool tee. It's an XL. I'm going to be wearing this. I'm going to be wearing this tee. Oh, I freaking love this. All you Robin Hood day traders out there, get some, get your vintage fix with some uh, vintage investment and in stock t-shirts. That's actually super dope. I actually really like that t-shirt. That is going to stay in the personal guy, I think. So, um, gosh, that's so cool. So there's definitely vintage. There's definitely some old t-shirts in here, guys. So that is good news. We're pulling some stuff out. We are not – like, this is an extravaganza. This is going to be nerd fashion. That's what I'm talking about. Day trading is hot. Uh, I was doing a little bit of it today. Um, so I'm totally going to keep um, – and my, my favorite my, – my favorite, one of my favorite movies, top top three is is uh, The Big Short. 
just about anything with the stock market I'm kind of in, interested in. But um, golly, that's a cool team. Um, yeah, we need some more like uh, vintage investment bros to like uh, hype up those types of t-shirts. Uh, yeah, there's like a pretty pretty strong mix of new and oh, what the heck. New and a handful of older tees in here, so that's cool. And again, I have three more of these big black bags, so like crazy. Who knows? It's gonna be a large pile, it's gonna probably build up pretty high. You'll probably see it a little tower here. Doesn't normally happen that way because we don't normally get this, this many bags, but and I was really actually hoping to get a, a ton more bags, but the smaller thrift store that makes the small bags up. They only had two bags all week. So just imagine if we had like a four or five bag week from them and a three bag week from the other store. God, they'd be nuts. Um, we'd be here all night long. And gosh, it'd be crazy. The recap would be out, you know, out of this world. The pile would be just unbelievably high. <clears throat> So, uh, resellers out there, how are your sales doing? Our sales are up probably like 45, 50%, um, which I'm a little bit surprised by. Um, I mean, I'm not even that surprised. It is, I mean, it's obviously Christmas season, um, but they're, they're staying pretty strong even up through this final week. And most people don't tend to expect to be able to get anything that they order in time. So, yeah, our, our sales are doing all right. We're pretty happy with it. Um, typically, this time of season is still decent. Um, uh, and January, actually, funny enough, for us, has always been a pretty strong week. Um, so, uh, I mean, it's week, uh, month. So, Yeah, so I you kind of, the the sales slow down a little bit because like I think people start realizing oh if I order something now, it's unlikely to get here in time. So why order it now? So, but um, you know just wait for that little bump on the backside of Christmas when people are spending that you know extra money that they got the you know gifts that they got that might be returning or whatever you know or the eBay bucks somebody gave you know stuff like that. So that. I always see that there's a there's like the le the week in between the holidays, Christmas and New Year's always tends to be pretty good, um, so it's always a great thing to do. Also, every all you guys, um, all you resellers out there, you know the the year is ending, so get any of those final expenses in uh, for taxes. <laughs> Post -thr Christmas thrift will be good, yeah, for sure. Any uh, any retail arbitrage folks out there? Uh, I'm curious what you guys do after Christmas because uh, I do hit up um, like in January. Uh, we do have sort of a tradition of hitting up uh, TJ Maxx and clearing out whatever they didn't sell over the you know the holiday fourth quarter. So um, we're hoping that that turns out pretty good for us. Anyone else? Anyone else do some retail arbitrage in uh, TJ Maxx or anything? All right, this bag's about to be done here. We got some shorts. We got some shorts. We're not no the cheapos. All right, uh, last little bit out of here. It's a pink tee, and it's nothing. That's the first of the big bags. So let's go ahead. Head back to the little bags, Ross shoes. I never have any luck in Ross for whatever reason. Um, I do better in Marshalls most of the time. So that's interesting. I mean, I do hear I do hear people like get some like killer, find some killer, you know, sneakers and and Ross and stuff, but I just never seem to be able to do it. We'll probably, uh, if I do, if we do end up doing a, a live stream 
at the beginning of the new year. Uh, we'll probably do like some, we'll probably try to do some rag bags, but I won't have been able to go buy rag bags. So I don't know if I'll have any, but I am pretty interested in talking about um, new year's resolutions and like goals for your, your eBay and reselling businesses. Um, Cause I know that I have to make mine for this new year. Um, you know, sort of what, what we're going to target, how we're going to strategize and go forward for the next year. You know, last year we spent um, a lot of our energy and uh, goal was to get uh, into the YouTube partnership program. And we finally did. And we got past a thousand subs and now we're on to like 2,500 subs. So um, we're just going to, we're going to start making goals. Goals are super helpful. Um, especially, you know, if you, if you, Spend some time to think about whether or not those goals are, are you know, reflective of the health of your business and your endeavors. It's it's a great way to give yourself an idea of how successful you're being, and how to redirect your um, redirect your energy. Because I know that's tough for me sometimes. Because I'm like, oh well, I'm just doing my thing. I'm, re- you know, thrifting and. If there's nothing in the thrift store, then it's like, oh, bummer. I don't have anything new. You know, I'm not getting more stuff to sell. But, um, I mean, that can't, it, I can't just live by the randomness of the thrift store. I have to try to strategize to avoid the pitfalls of, you know, like when there's not stuff in the thrift store. So, um, I'd be curious. We'll probably do it on a live stream or something like that because I'd love to hear you guys and your feedback, what your goals are um how you guys manage your goals and and within your business and maybe even personal life too so it's awesome all right this bag is pretty pretty dull so far um pretty dull so far what's this oh it's like some like breakfast club american classics probably what out of like from old navy something like that some license apparel uh, it'd be cool to find an actual, like, original tea. We got a Jesus tea. That was a cool tea. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. It's not vintage, I don't think. But it feels feels nice. Uh, this might be somewhat old. It's on the older. This is probably, like, early 2000s. All right, let's see what else we can find here. You guys have you guys going to any ugly sweater, Chris ugly Christmas sweater parties? I did not go to any this year, though I certainly could have. Uh, I certainly would have had some ugly Christmas sweaters to compete. Um, I, you know, in my line of work, you find lots of ugly sweaters. That's for sure. All right, that bag's empty. Nothing else left in it. So. So the, the smaller thrift store did not help us out today. But we've got two more really big of the black trash bags. This could be really good. We've already had a few cool teas. Uh, one of my personal favorites, uh, maybe of all time, that we've bought or that we found. So a couple of vintage Notre Dame teas. All right, let's get this open. Oh, yeah, let's get into this. I'm talking about. All right. Purple, what is this? It's new school. Bigfoot Energy Services. Oh, okay. That's a pretty cool graphic, though. Pretty cool graphic. Not vintage. Pink, not vintage. Um, the place that I get this from, like these bags from, is a pretty, like, sort of retirement city, retirement area. So, Nothing super crazy. Um, I typically don't expect. I typically don't expect. Oh, we got a Santa Cruz skateboard tee. I don't know. Just like it's pretty dope tee. Don't know much about Santa Cruz skateboards. I know that they're a brand, obviously, but don't know what there's val if they're valuable or rare or expensive or anything like that. Or if you can find them at Walmart. So, if you know, let me know. Still got lots to learn. Always got stuff to learn. What is this? What do we got here? 
Congo Square Jazz Fest, New Orleans. Uh, this is not vintage, but it's pretty cool. Come on. But yeah, so the area in which I get this thrift store is sort of like in a more retirement town on the on a lake. So there's like a lot of old people retiring. So there's not like uh, not like a ton of not like a ton of like hipsters or anything. Um, so I don't tend to t tend to expect. Woo, I don't tend to expect like a bunch of vintage wrap tees from this area but you know i have found the occasional uh vintage band tee here and there so not too bad but you know there's a lot of other cheese in uh in the vintage tea world other than wrap tees that are pretty dope like vintage investment t-shirts that's what i'm talking about what's that Oh, Halloween spirit tea. Gosh, if that if those had any value, that'd be pretty cool. Ba -da -da -da. All right, come on. We're trying to pound through this because we got so many t-shirts. Oh, all right, well, they're already falling. What's this? I don't... Generic uh, skull and uh, skull t-shirt. So far, not seeing much out of this bag, unfortunately. Not a whole lot. Everything looks pretty. The honeybee conservative, conservative, conservancy. Not vintage. That would have been cool, a vintage tea. Oh. Louisiana. Yep, Louisiana. We do get a lot. Oh, what's this? What's the? Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, that's a lot. Cowgirls Unlimited. It's on, uh, it's on an older, like, late 90s tea, early 2000s, but that's gross. Dirt. It's got dirt and some sort of dirt. What's this? I don't know if I can show. <laughs> what the? Uh... I mean, it looks like it's vintage. It's my bikini, 100% cotton. Uh, okay. Uh, am I going to get demonetized now? Yeah, Kelsey. <laughs> um, so I, I used to think, like I used to go to um, like ritzy or fancy or parts of town, uh, different towns or, you know, different big cities and thrift. But what I found is most of the time, the cost that they charge for their items versus is not like, I, it's still, it's still a crap shoot to get like higher quality stuff. So, you know, do I occasionally find like a really great vintage or they're trying a really great, like valuable designer brand somewhere in the at those places yeah maybe more often than in the middle um maybe more often than in the middle of the country but when it comes to like how much i have to pay for it i i just don't tend to find that the, the wealthier places are the the cost the cost benefit is there and i know that that's somewhat you know controversial to say because a lot of people do use that method um, I just have never had a whole lot of luck with it. Um, so, uh, Fred, uh, I'll, just, I'll give you, this is, this is where we're at right now. <laughs> the bags are pretty good. Actually, a really dope tea. My, my favorite, my favorite tea right here is this, uh, vintage money magazine tea, single stitch on the fruit of the loom, uh, early 90s tag it's like an investor tea super dope um so i that but that's probably gonna stay in my personal um what's this what's this that's oh, our apostle but we have we still have a lot of bags left or a lot of bag left i don't know about bags oh we got a nike oh this is pretty dope check this out 
This is a great tag, early 2000s. Nike XL. It's been tie-dyed, but look at that. That's pretty sick. Yeah, that's pretty dope. I think this is not a tie-dyed job that they did, but it's still pretty dope. So that's sick. That T-shirt will do well. Um, I got some Razorback stuff. This bag is just does not want to cooperate with me. All right, let's see. Let's finish this bag off. Still got quite a few tees in here. Whew. Keeping Allie in my heart. That's uh, probably some personal. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, Rockies uh, women's jeans. Yeah, Rockies can do really well. Um, some of the vintage Rocky stuff does really well. Um, and if you've gotten around on, you know, if you've picked up, if you're, you know, right, if you regularly pick up Rocky's brand, you'll realize that they have like, uh, they have like these t uh, these jeans with like just like tons of like heavy metal studs down them. Very like cowgirl, early 90s to early late 2000s. Oh, we got that Bigfoot energy. Got that big foot energy. <laughs> um, but uh yeah, the they sell pretty well, especially those the 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 uh, smaller sizes. The Rockies do just fine. Oh we got here. Oh Duck Dynasty Tees. When are Duck Dynasty Tees gonna get uh cool? Like when are they gonna be cool to like in like I I I can't, ironic like and when they gonna get hyped up is what I want to know because I got so many of them in my area. Oh, I mean, there's so many Duck Dynasty tees, unbelievable. Um, come on, let's 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 get one more decent hit out of this bag. One more. The Literary Mafia. It's not vintage, but it's kind of cool. I might hold on to that. Okay. Now we're getting down to it. What we got here? Uh, Delta Pro Way. We got somebody loves their bikini t-shirts. I don't know if that's worth anything, but we'll see. I'm going to wear that bikini t-shirt for my wife tonight. We'll see what she thinks. I'll come back. She'll freak out. Woo! All right, nothing. But you never know, guys. You, you never know. It could be bad, 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 bad. Oh, this is kind of cool. What's going on with this tea? For the loom on like late 90s tea. Road to reality. Where will it lead you? I don't really know what's up with this, but it's pretty interesting. It's single stitch. Or is a, sing is a stitch missing? A uh, stitch is missing. It's kind of cool. You never, also, you never know what in the, like, you guys might be, you guys would probably be surprised at the random t shirts that's, that do sell. Uh, the Levi's T. Like, there's some really random uh, t shirts that I sell from these bags. It doesn't, it doesn't make much sense. Like, Super strange stuff that you would never have expected when you know when I found it. But oh, that you know someone would buy that, but I like throw it online because I'm like I already own it. it cost me you know it's a little bit to process it, so might as well. We got a another New Orleans Jazz Festival tea, late '90s I think. Uh, we might hold on to that. Uh, what's this? Oh. We got a vintage uh, key. Uh, I don't know. But it's made in the USA. Tourist tea. Grand Cayman Islands. It's keen scenes. Single stitch. That's pretty dope. Stuff like this sells. People buy this stuff all, of, all the time for like 15 bucks, but people still buy it. So can't complain. That'll pay for the bag. Oh. And it's the uh, color of death because you know this t these color t-shirts are never vintage. All right, that's a bag. 
number four. The best and probably the heaviest bag for last. Um, do I do bulk overseas on locals? Like, do I sell bulk overseas or two overseas? Because I do. Um, I actually just packed up a, a, a bulk order today and had it shipped off to South, uh, South Korea. Um, I also do, uh, I have a couple. Ooh. Yeah, baby. Check it out. You got Taz on the Arkansas Razorbacks T1995. I know a couple of people down south that would love this T. It's single stitch. It's in a great size. This is the best t-shirt of the day. Uh, I think for sure. It's on a TNT tag. Size large. Yeah, this one's this one's this one's a good one. Right now, we got the lightning. Heck yeah, dude. That's a good tea. Yeah, Japan. I sell to Japan. I don't sell bulk off into Japan because most of the time, the stuff that Japan wants, um, I don't have like bulk of. Um, all right, guys. It's getting it's getting hot in here. Got another. We got a Looney Tunes tea. Main USA. Taz is back at it again. Look at that. Yellow. This is double stitch. This is probably later 90s. Yeah, dude. It says 95 was the design, but it's probably a little bit later than that. Sick. Taz is on the board. How many more of these can we get? Can this be the rest of, can the rest of this bag just be ta Taz? We got some uh, North Face shirt. Give that to my wife. Come on, Taz. <clears throat> let's just make let's just do Taz all day long here. Come on. Two Taz right up the top. That's pretty sick. Can't complain. Those those two are great tees. What we got here? Looks like something vintage. On uh late 90s Fruit of the Loom. Art on the lakes. Eh, nothing crazy. <clears throat> nope. We will go back through and review some of the bigger hitters at the end. Uh, just so everyone can, if you came in a little bit late, we'll go over some of the bigger tees just in review. There are a handful now. Uh, this would be, I would consider this a pretty successful um, successful rag bag opening. Obviously not like blowing the lid off, but um, still pretty cool. This is a cool little N NYC tee. Um, not vintage, but Boy Scouts T. Skagway. Nope. Okay. We got big plans for the uh, new year. Oh, we got an HL Miller vintage single stitch Hawaii with the Dolphins. See live, that's pretty cool. Single stitch stuff like this again sells. That makes that you know, it's not a big hitter, but it's definitely uh, uh, definitely gonna make some money. Uh, definitely gonna you know, cover the cost of all this, that's for sure. Which is you know, first and foremost, what I try to do. Oh, we got the TSI t vintage t shirt, which is always a dad or family relative tee. It's like always what it is. Uh, Oh yeah, yes, we have we got the single stitch champ, right? Single stitch, right? Probably no, it's, this is double stitch, but it's champion uh champion T Atlanta 1996 t shirt. Love finding these tees. All right, this this bag's this bag's banging. It's on the champion large. Sick. We're we're doing all right. This bag's treating us all right. We're we're like hardly into it. So what else could there be? What else could there be? Killing it, Smalls. Yep. We are killing it. We're doing pretty good. Oh, we got a 2007 water polo tee. NCAA water polo. Women's water polo. 
Don't think that's anything. So somebody went on a cruise because we have, uh, we're getting a lot of St. John, a lot of uh, Island merch. What we got here? Ooh. Oh, shoot, guys. Check this out. This is a Walt Disney World tee, like jersey. And, I mean, the tag is old. It's washed out. I cannot tell. Look at that. That's sick. I'm going to Disney World. Anyone got any idea? 82, is that the year? This is probably the year. 1982 Disney World tee. Anyone got any idea? That's sick. We are killing it in this bag. <clears throat> a lot of cool stuff. I got to brush up on my Disney. Um, but, I mean, I brought it specifically up on my Disney, like, uh, uh, tags and stuff. Uh, modern Carhartt. Then 82 is a good year, I suppose, huh? What do we got here? Feels old. It's on a jersey, size large. It's inside out. So let's see what we got. Oh, oh, dude, this is. Let's see. Oh, we got a military T bomb squad from 93, 94, something like that. Bomb squad, vintage, single stitch T. So somebody flying planes, dropping bombs. Yeah, this is good. This is good stuff. We're finding some good stuff in here. It's not gone out of hand yet, necessarily, but definitely making some progress. We could find some couple more bangers here. Got a vintage Colorado tee, probably late, early 2000s, late 90s. But it's a size small, so it's going to be a hard, hard one to move. Modern Jeep tee. Back porch. Yeah, Destin, Florida. Somebody went to Florida. Someone, someone traveled. The road to your success district. Something, I don't know. Single stitch. Single stitch on the Hanes, like mid-90s. It's like a San Francisco. This thing has been washed too many times. Probably doesn't get puff paint on it. Definitely been worn too many times or washed too many times. Got to be careful about your your tees. We got a Jersey's XL tee. War Memorial. It's pretty cool. I don't really know. This is worth. I don't know if I can sell that T-shirt, but it's hard to throw something like that away. All right, come on now. I feel like this could this could get. This could get crazy. It could get real fresh real soon with this particular bad bag. You never know. When you start hitting so many vintage tees, like in a row, you just don't know like what up what 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 gem did they uh what gem did they put in here at some point? Is that uh yeah they were holding on to for so long. Oh, we got a... Is this a oh this is an older but I don't think it's that old. No, it's on seven. Thought it was a, a little bit older tag. Okay, that's true. That might make sense. That might make sense. Da -da -da -da. All right, what else? What's this? What we got here? Anvil Red Bar Tag. Wolf Moose Lynx. This is actually kind of cool. It's like textured print. Oh, but it doesn't tell me what it is. I don't think it's that old. Not old enough for us to call it vintage. Some Boy Scout stuff in here. We got some, we got some older tees here. Older tees. What is this? Office Depot. The single stitch office depot tee. 
This is the kind of stuff that actually gets bought for whatever reason. Yeah, we got the Office Depot single stitch vintage Office Depot tee. West Lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, there's there's a lot of old tea. Ooh. Hot August nights. Like some hot rod tea. So not that old, I don't think. It says since 1986, but that's definitely this is on a, a little a, a newer newer guild and tag. I'll hold on hold on to it for a minute. Yeah, we got some older. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Check this out, guys. This is sick. It's Lockheed Martin. Vintage Lockheed Martin. Walk America, April 1996. Lockheed Martin. <laughs> That's pretty dope. Pretty silly, but pretty dope. Single no, double stitch, but it's on the jerseys 50 50. So, still pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, I I remember what you're talking about specifically now. We got the March of Dimes, Lockheed Martin T again, 2000. Somebody that used to work for Lockheed Martin's looking for that T-shirt. We got a Fairbanks Alaska T. Yeah, that jean jacket was pretty dope. Um, I found a couple, you know, over the years, these like embossed, embossed tees that, or excuse me, embossed uh, jackets that uh. That people get get you know maybe custom done and you know you have to find the right buyer obviously, um, so it takes some time, but once you do, it's pretty dope. All right, what else we got here? We're coming down to we're probably like forty percent left here. Um, come on, let's get one more, let's get one more banger. Haha, <laughs> lawn stars. One more banger before we go, before we check off. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, this is not. This is not old. I thought this might be old, but love. Ha ha ha. We got a Haynes her way, blank tea. Which I did. I think I left that out of my last vintage Haynes T-shirt video about Haynes her way. They're not particularly old, but some of them can be a little bit older. So you don't see a lot of like good designs on them because they weren't typically like used for for like band tees or something like that. All right, we're coming down to the end here. Coming down to the end of the night. Can we get anything here at the end? We got older Delta Pro Weight America camping tradition. Don't really know if that's worth holding on to, but um. We have gone through a lot of bags so far. We're almost, we've almost been here an hour digging through these bags. Got some good teas. Definitely got some good teas. Um, we got here, Malibu, California. Jesus is my superhero. <laughs> yeah, why well, you gotta be careful, bro. Got to be careful. Soul sneakers. Oh, that's pretty dope because they look kind of like Jordans. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, we are almost done. A handful of T-shirts right here left. Do we have something to send us off right with? Send us off into the new year. So far, I am thinking no. Is this the last one? Uh, that was the last one. And that is it, folks. Let's go ahead and review. Was that on a list? I don't think it was. Let me see. Or maybe it is. Oh, yeah, sure was. Look at that. It's like a youth size. Youth size. Medium. Adventure time. All right, let's review a couple t-shirts. We have some vintage Lockheed Martin tees. That's pretty kind of kind of interesting. Yeah, you gotta wear those like uh, those pen, those 100% Pendletons, like with like a whole another long sleeve T-shirt on. 
So it's like, uh, it's gonna be frustrating. Yeah, you're right. That's probably that is that's right. Mountain Home High School. Yeah, I thought it was a. This is one of the cooler tees right here, guys. It's got some damage, but uh, in review, the Walt Disney World jersey, um, like I guess 1982. It's got a hole right here, but pretty sick. I'm on my way to to uh, Disney next week, so. Uh, we also picked up a, a vintage champion, 1996 Atlanta Olympics tee. tee. That's pretty sick. Uh, we got this. Uh, we picked up a vintage Taz T single stitch, or this one's, this one's double stitch, uh, but that's pretty sick on the on the old school uh, Ben USA uh, Looney Tunes tag. Uh, we got another Taz. This is probably the, this is probably probably the best tee so far today. Uh, Arkansas Razorbacks T, um, 1985. This one is single stitch. This was probably the best one of the evening. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, I mean, Pendleton sells good and almost always sells good. We got this dope Nike T that was pretty cool. Vintage, like early, like Y2K. Um, we did have this super weird bikini tee. Um, some random football. What else we got here? Let me look. Don't want to. We did have this early on. One of our first tees, vintage single stitch Notre Dame. What else? What else was there? There's some other little Notre Dame tees here. What else? I think that was about it for the highlights. For the oh. And then the best tee of the night, in my opinion, was the Vintage Investor Tee Money Magazine single stitch on the Fruit of the Loom tag. This is going to stay with me and my personal. Uh, but the Taz tees definitely pay for a good portion of it. And a handful of other vintage tees will definitely cover my expenses. We did not go out with an incredible bang, unfortunately, but, you know, still pretty pretty dope. This is a pretty average, pretty average uh, mystery bag Monday. So, uh, hopefully in the new year, we'll get all kinds of crazy finds. So yeah, I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to do a Pendleton video here soon because, uh, Pendleton like has a lot of little subtle things like with their tags, um, that give, they give you hints as to what they are. Um, sometimes I can't, I definitely can't keep them all straight in my head. Like when I'm out in the thrift, I just know, Oh, this is one of the good ones to pick it up. Um, always gotta we gotta walk out, watch out for those uh, moth holes with that wool stuff. But you know, uh, I sell. I'm not sure about you guys, but I sell those probably easily forty to sixty dollars. Sometimes if it's a crazy pattern, seventy five. Um, but I have sold some like really old, like fifties Pendleton for a bit more than that. Um, but it was kind of ratty and had already been eaten through some. So uh, I think I got like 110 for it, you know, a couple years ago. But uh, love finding that Pendleton stuff. It's so dope and it's warm. Um, but it is itchy for sure. They, they didn't have uh, what they call it. What's the new, what's that wool? Smart wool. They didn't have smart wool. But anyways, guys, we thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. I know it can be tough for some, uh, so hopefully uh, you can find some joy, some hope in this season. So we will see you guys in the new year. I do have a couple of videos that will be coming out over the next week. Uh, but as far as lives are concerned, we'll see you guys in the new year. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you later. Peace.